I know what you're thinking. Porn on my YouTube? Don't worry, there's actually no porn in Soft Porn Adventure. It is a text game. This game inspired the Laser Shoot Larry series. In fact, Laser Shoot Larry is often considered to be a graphical remake of this adventure. So, just a heads up, even though there's no porn in it, I'm still flagging it as mature because of a lot of uh, racy content. And also, um, just a warning, this game is very immature, it's very misogynistic, it's very outdated in terms of its humor. So if you have a problem with that kind of content, I'd advise clicking off the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. And uh, just a heads up, there's no music in this game, so I just added a little bit in the background. So welcome, should a save game be loaded? No. So I'm in a sleazy bar. Behind the bar says a bartender. A sign hanging over them says beer $100 and whiskey $100. This place isn't furnished too well. A curtain hangs on one wall. There's a button on the wall next to it. A fan whirls slowly overhead, moving the stagnant air around. That's a lot of money for one shot or one beer. Um, what you want to do, though, is you want to buy the whiskey. I give the bartender $100. He puts it on the bar. Now, it's not enough to buy it. You have to take the whiskey, too. Now, go ahead and let's go west. And you're in a hallway, a dimly lit hallway. The paint is peeling off the walls, and the floor hasn't been cleaned in months. Cockroaches run across the floor, jumping as, as the loosely installed light bulb crackles and flickers. An old desk sits pushed against the wall. A businessman sits on a broken chair. Seems kind of drunk. So what you need to do is you need to take the flowers that are on the uh, desk there. Now you can open up the desk and read the newspaper. The newspaper will actually uh, teach you how to gamble, but that's not necessary for a perfect score, at least not in this one. So you need to give the businessman the whiskey. So just give whiskey and the guy gives me a TV controller. You need to take it. So let's go north. I'm in a bathroom. The stench is unbelievable. Graffiti is all over the walls. Cockroaches don't seem to survive in this place. Their dead bodies are strewn everywhere. The sink's faucets are broken. In fact, the sink hangs from the wall by its rusty plumbing. A toilet sits in the corner. Looks dangerous. Now you can die in this game if you flush the toilet, so I would not recommend doing that. What you want to do is uh, look at the wash basin. What's that I see? It's a wedding ring, so take the ring. Now you can use a toilet. Um, you can look in the mirror and all that. But the main thing that we want to do in this bathroom, besides getting the ring, is look at the graffiti. So there's some very crazy writing on there. Ask ye and ye shall receive. I like that one. But uh, the password is belly button. That's the main thing that we need. So let's go south and we'll go east back to the bar. And if you push the button, what's the password? Belly button. The curtain pulls back and we can go east now. I'm in the back room of the bar. There's this big dude in here with me. He's wearing a button. I can't see what it says. Maybe I should take a close look at him. Stairs lead up to the second floor. There's a TV in the corner also. I get the feeling that loitering is not encouraged here. So turn the TV on and you can go through all the channels, but the one that you're looking for is channel six. Cable TV, the show in the kinkiest X-rated movies. This one's titled Deep Nostril. The pimp likes this one. He's engrossed in the action he sees. He seems distracted now. Now that you're done, go ahead and drop the controller. You don't need it anymore. As long as you keep it on channel six, you won't ever have to use it again. So you wanna go up and every time you go up, in this particular room, you have to pay $2,000 until you complete this goal. So he takes $2,000 and says, okay, I'm in a seedy bedroom. There's a hooker in here also. The bed's a mess and the hooker's the same. The room is painted bright pink and the ceiling is covered with mirrors. The sign says, take precautions. The clap could be fatal. To the north is a sliding glass door. It leads to a balcony. So you can do things with a hooker right now, but it will kill you. If you try and go north out to the balcony, the hooker won't let you. The main thing we need here is we need to take the candy. Then we'll go back down. 
and then we'll go west back to the bar and north. I'm on a sidewalk outside the bar. A couple of strange dogs wander around. A cat is crouched in the entrance watching the dogs. Some paper blows by from the overfilled garbage dumpster next to me. I just miss stepping on the dog's calling card. The dogs look at me. I hope they don't think I'm a fire hydrant. So you want to hail a taxi. The taxi pulls up and screeches to a halt. I get in the back and sit down. That sign says, we service three destinations. When asked, please specify disco, casino, or bar. The driver turns and asks, where to, Mac? Well, we'll go to the casino. I'm in a downtown. We arrive and I get out. I'm in a downtown street. People from all walks of life are milling about. Cadillac limos and Mercedes sports cars drive up and down the street, bringing gamblers in, to and from the casino. To the north, the sign says, use our services to enter into a blissful life. The driver says, that would be $100. Make sure you always pay the driver. If you don't pay the driver, then you will die. And if you die in this game, you get a three choice option. And it's random every single time. You can choose a number between one and three. One usually, well, one is supposed to keep you there. Two is to basically quit the game out and three does nothing, but it's random every time. So we're gonna go east. I'm in the main casino room. Row upon row of slot machines fill the room. The bells of the machines clamor as winnings are paid to the winners. The police cart off the losers. Vagrancy is not tolerated here. Vagrants are exterminated. Keeps the crime rate low. But everyone seems happy here. Besides the fact that there's mass murder going on. So, our goal right now, I advise going north. Because you'll be in the 21 room. Tables for playing blackjack are everywhere. The noise of people... Winning and losing fortunes fills the room. The table stands in front of me. The dealer waits for me to join in. People gather. They want me to gamble my fortune away. A voice within me says, go for it, fool. So, our next goal right now, and I'm going to do it off camera. You want to play 21, and you can bet up to $1,000. Um, if you save, you can actually use this to your advantage. So, you, what I recommend is to save. Play 21 until you get to eight thousand dollars which would be more than plenty that's a little bit of leeway in case you forget something or you want to go back somewhere but get to eight thousand dollars keep betting a thousand dollars if you lose reload if you win save and i will see you back when we get to a thousand eight thousand dollars welcome back as you can see we now have eighty two hundred dollars so our next goal let's go ahead and explore a little bit in the casino So let's go south and we'll go east and I'm in the main lobby. There's a stairway going up to the hotel desk. The only other exit leads back to the casino. Over in the corner is a flourishing plant which is sitting in a pot. Couches and tables are also in the room as are other items one would find in the lobby. Lobby is empty. Everyone is gambling except me apparently. So let's go up. I'm in the registration counter of the hotel. The sign says no vacancy. There is an elevator next to the counter marked penthouse, private. A button is next to the elevator. The smell of perfume fills the air. The sexiest blonde you've ever seen stands behind the counter. And I'd sure love to ride her. Wow, that is a pretty bad statement. So we're going to go west, ignoring that one. I'm in a hallway. Doors line each side. Most have do not disturb hung on the doorknobs. Waiters from room service pass by bringing food and drink to the hotel guests. An ashtray sits next to the wall. South is the entrance to the honeymoon suite. So let's look at the ashtray. What's that I see? Take the pass card. And that will actually get us into the disco. So we're going to go east, down. Now before we leave, let's look at that plant. It looks pretty interesting. There's a group of bushes behind it, huh? So let's enter bushes. I'm in a lush garden. The air is filled with the aroma of all sorts of plants. Green ferns are everywhere. Roses and other flowers emit their wonder fragrances. If there's ever a garden of Eden, this certainly has to be the place. The entrance has disappeared as I walked in. How do I get out? So you want to take the stool. Take the hammer. Those will help much later. And you want to eat the mushroom, because that's the only way to get out of this room. Pretty colors appear, and I'm elsewhere. And we're back in the bathroom at the bar. So let's go south. 
east and north back to the street and we'll hail a taxi. And let's go to the disco this time. I'm at the sidewalk. To the north is a d fancy doorway. The entrance to the disco club. An old bum sits by the entrance. He's definitely seen better days. The guy looks really tormented. To the east is the pharmacy. Apartment houses and homes line the rest of the street. Pay the driver, of course. And we'll go east. I'm in a pharmacy. On one wall sets a magazine rack. A sign says this is not a library. No reading. A pharmacist sits behind the counter. Kids stop to buy candy. Others buy newspaper, cigarettes, etc. A mirror to protect against shoplifting is mounted in the corner. Now, you could buy a magazine here. And that magazine will teach you how to complete the next part by wooing the woman in the disco. But we don't necessarily need it. It doesn't give us points and we know what to do. So we're just going to buy the rubber. The little man leans over the counter and whispers, What color? A uh, plaid. And for a flavor? Um, top ramen flavored. Why not? Lubricated? Yes. Ribbed? Yes. He yells, This perfect to spot a plaid top ramen flavored lubricated ribbed rubber. A lady walks by and <laughs> looks from disgust. Yeah. That's pretty funny. So we go west. We're back out on the street. You don't actually have to take the rubber. It actually gets auto and added to your inventory. And so we'll go north. I'm at the entrance to the disco. Pictures line the entranceway showing the happy singles who attend their club. Singles pass me me in the club. Couples wander out, kissing and making eyes at each other. Doors to the west. The door has a sign on it. So instead of trying to go through, you can't go through it unless you open the door. Which will check to see if you have the pass card. Of course you do. And it opens. So let's go west. I'm in the swinging singles disco. This is a crazy. There's a crazy DJ playing the newest hits. The dance floor is filled with guys and gals doing the best steps in the town. The crowd is really getting into it. Everyone's having fun. There's a table to stand over by the dance floor. Assign the table. Wine, one hundred dollars. Now you can dance. In fact, the game suggests it if you buy the magazine, but you don't actually have to. So what you want to do is you want to give the girl the flowers. Give her the candy. She blushes profusely and puts them in there. She smiles and eats a couple. Then give her the ring. She blushes and puts it in her purse. She says, see you at the marriage center. Uh-oh. What have we done? So, when you do that, let's order wine. The waitress takes $100 and says she'll return. Now, this will take a while. Um, you have a... $8,000, that should be more than plenty to get you through this game. If not, you can always look at your wallet, and it will tell you how much money you have left. And you can gamble some more if you need to. But that's just kind of like a fail-safe. Like, for example, if you forget to go somewhere, that way you have an extra $100 or so here and there. Poor service. And she finally brought the wine, so let's take wine. So we'll go back east, and we'll go south. And... There's a bum there, so let's give him the wine. He looks at me and starts to speak. Well, my son, here's my story. I came here many years ago, and my goals were the same as yours. But this adventure was too much for me. Here's a gift. Carry it with you at all times. There's some kinky girls in this town. You never know when you may need to use this to defend yourself. Press return. After all, you may get caught in a program bug, like I did. He throws up and gives me back the wine. So you take the knife. Now here's something that you really have to do. If you try and drop the wine here, the bum will say, get that out of my sight. So you wanna go east or north, drop wine and go back. Because if you try and hail a taxi with a wine, it immediately drink the entire thing and crash the car and kill you. So now let's hail a taxi and we'll go back to the bar, a little paid driver. So we'll go south. And now that we have a rubber, you know what we're about to do. If you play Leech Loot Larry, this is a part of that game too. So we'll actually push the button, belly button. We'll go back up. Oh, sorry, east first and then up. And now there's really no way to put this delicately. You just use the rubber. It tickles and then screw the hooker. 
It's a good thing I was wearing that rubber. She was okay, but really, can't you do better than this? The score is one out of a possible three, so congratulations. Get to it, you stud. Find me another girl. So drop the rubber. And uh, we'll go north. I'm on a balcony. Off in the distance, I see a brightly lit billboard. A fire escape ladder is at the end of the balcony. A sign says, use an extreme emergency. Looking towards the west of the balcony, I can see a window ledge. It looks too dangerous to go there. I might fall. The place smells of garbage. So let's go down. And we'll look at the garbage. There's a fire escape ladder above me, which lowers automatically whenever the weight is put on it. As a result, I find myself in the garbage dumpster with some fool placed under it. The trash is in this thing is foul. I'm sitting in a sea of coffee grinds and eggshells. Trash surrounds me. I think I may puke. What's that I see? So look at the core. What's that I see? Take the seeds. So now that we're done here, we'll hail a taxi. And this time we'll go to the casino. Hey driver. Now this is another part where you need a lot of money. So we'll go north. I'm in a quickie marriage center. Flashing neon sign says, why wait? Marry the girl of your dreams today. You provide the girl, we'll provide a legal marriage for only $1,000. Plaque on the wall proclaims over 1 million served. To the east is the Adventurer's Hotel. Seems like quite a classy place. So marry girl. Okay. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Why are you doing this? At least in Leisure Suit Larry, there's a little bit more of an explanation for it, but oh well. The preacher takes a thousand dollars and winks. The girl grabs two thousand dollars and says, "Meet me at the honeymoon suite. I've got connections to meet a room, to get a room there." Okay. So let's exit out. We'll go east, east, up, west, and south into the honeymoon suite. I'm in the honeymoon suite of the hotel. The decor is fabulous. A giant heart-shaped bed sits in the corner of the room. The floor is covered with a deep shag rug. A Tiffany lamp provides just the right amount of light to complete the atmosphere. A breeze flows through the curtain on the east wall. Now, she's not going to be in the mood unless you buy some wine. So what we need to do is we need to go east. I'm out on the porch. A high wooden fence surrounds the porch. There's a little hole in the fence. An arrow points at it. Written next to it is a message. Look here. A sign says, see the city from the comfort of your own porch. The sun is out. Its rays beat down on the porch, making it very hot. So, you can get the radio, take the radio, and listen to it. An advertisement says, call 555-0987 for all your liqueur needs. Now we can drop the radio, because we don't need it anymore. We'll go west, north, east, down, west, west. And we'll go back to the disco because we need to call that number so disco if i can type right pay driver we'll go north we got to open the door again because you know they're not just calling anyone in and we go south i'm in a dimly lit hallway the paint is peeling off the walls and the floor has been cleaned in months cockroaches run across the floor jumping at the loosely installed light bulb crackles and flickers an old desk sits pushed Okay, so apparently the game glitched. <laughs> so let's uh, call 555-0987. So you have to put that dash in there and you have to um, use the number keys on the top of the keyboard. You can't use the number pad. Voice answers. Wine for the nervous newlyweds coming right up. So let's go north, east, south. And then we'll hail a taxi. And we'll go to the casino. Pay driver. And we'll go east, east, up, west, and south. Now, this is where the game expects you to consummate your marriage. So, again, no easy way to put this. This game is very outdated. She says, lay down, honey. Let me give you a special surprise. I lay down. She says, okay. Now close your eyes. I close my eyes as she starts to go to work on me. I'm really enjoying myself when she suddenly ties me to the bed. Then she says, so long, turkey, and runs out of the room. Well, the score is not two out of possible three, but I'm also tied to the bed and can't move. So I cut the rope. I'm doing it work. Thanks. Take the rope. I've got it. So now we have a rope. We can go back into that window that was at the bar because we can actually get over there safely. 
So we'll exit back out, hail a taxi, and we'll go to the bar and pay a driver and push the button, belly button. Now that you have uh, already done your deed, he no longer charges you when you go upstairs. So you go north, use the rope. Okay, that's all it says is okay. Doesn't say how you're using the rope. Maybe you're roping cattle out here, but you tie it. Actually, you tie it to the uh, balcony. So let's go west. I'm on a window ledge. My safety rope leads back to the fire escape. While it helps some, I can still fall and kill myself. So be careful. The window looks into a room, but I can't see much, too much from here. People down on the street below look up me and scream something about "Don't jump." What's their problem? So you want to break the window because you have a hammer now. The window smashes to pieces, and we'll go south. I'm in the room I broke into. The entrance on the far side of the room is locked shut. The plaster's falling off the wall. The usual. The only items around here are a paper bag and a bright pink bathrobe. The wall has a centerfold taped to it. Through the door's peephole, I see people in the hallway. Bad exit. To so take the pills. And you're not sure what they are yet, but we'll go north and east. And we'll go back down and west. And we'll hail a taxi again. And this time we'll go back to the casino and we're almost done with this game. So pay the driver. Go east, east, up, and then give pills. Blah looks at the pills and says, thanks, I love this stuff. She takes a pill. Wow, she's breathing heavily. Wow, this is very bad. So I'm going to just skip it. So it's basically she's going to see her boyfriend. She disappears. So push the button. The elevator door opens. I get in. As the doors close, music starts playing. I'm the usual elevator stuff. Boring. We start to move. After a few seconds, the elevator stops. The doors open and I get out. I'm in the foyer of the penthouse. Over in the corner is a spiral staircase. Next to the elevator is a button. The place is nicely decorated. No expense spared. The kitchen is to the east. Beautiful paintings from some centuries old artists cover the walls. This place is quite impressive. So we have to go east. I'm in the kitchen. There's a sink to one side. High over the sink is mounted a cabinet. There's no dishes in sight. The place is kept quite tidy. No dirty dishes or pins, pans around here. There's a little sign over the sink. So what you want to do is you want to drop the stool, climb it, and look in the cabinet. Take the pitcher and turn the water on. Fill the pitcher, water off. And Go back west, push the button. So we'll go back down and we'll enter the bushes one more time. Drop those seeds you found and water them, which will make a magic tree sprout. So look at the tree and take the apple. And now we have an actual apple. So eat the mushroom once more and you're in a sleazy bar. This randomly teleports you to some place in the bar whether it's the bathroom, the hallway, the bar, or just outside it. So we'll hail the taxi and we'll go back to the casino, pay the driver, go east, east, up, and then push the button once more. And we'll go up this time. There's a closet on one mall. Like the rest of the place, it's very well furnished. Nobody seems to be here, but I think I hear a gurgling noise coming from somewhere. A very nice place. So you can look in the closet and there's actually something in there that's pretty risque, but you don't need need it in this game. So instead, go north. I'm outside on an expansive rooftop. The sun shines in amongst the plants and trees. Birds flutter about. There's a jacuzzi in the middle of the porch. Well, that's the sound of the gurgling noise. A wooden fence surrounds the entire area. So I go ahead and go down. I'm in the jacuzzi. Oh boy, does this feel good. Water swirls around me. It's warmth soaks up into my body. The feeling of relaxing, relaxation is almost numbing. Over on the other side is the most beautiful girl. I hope she doesn't mind me being here. And being a spelt round. So give her the apple. She takes the apple and raises it to her mouth. With an outrageously innocent look, she takes a small bite out of it. A smile comes across her face. She's really starting to look quite sexy. She swings and lies back in the jacuzzi. And again, no easy way to put it. So just... She hops out of the tub, the steam rising from her skin, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, she gives me the best time of my life. Well, I guess this is it. As your puppet in this game, I thank you for the pleasure you brought me. So long. I've got to get back to my new girl here. Keep it up. The quest is over. Thank you so much for playing. If you like this game, you don't have to actually do that. It's probably going to be um, not even a valid address anymore. Credits. Most importantly, I'd like to thank Al Lowe for all his help, especially including this and Leash through Larry's Greatest Hits and Misses. So, we got three out of three. And that wraps up pretty well the first game in the Leash through Larry series. It's kind of like Wizard and the Princess was to King's Quest, where it's more of a uh, inspiration. This one, however, is pretty much just what was remade into the uh, Lisa Suit Larry game. So it was interesting to see some differences. I definitely like Lisa Suit Larry a lot better just because it's more of a funny game. It's not as outdated or as kind of frat housey. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you helped it beat, helped you beat this game. And I'll see you in the next walkthrough.